Another way that many teachers today take advantage of technology is by using Google Docs for collaborative writing activities. Let's examine how teachers can use Google Docs to create a space where students can collaborate to write assignments. In this segment, Tim and I will be simulating a collaborative writing project on Google Docs. In this simulation, we are students in a teacher education class and the assignment is to write a paper introducing COCA, the Corpus of Contemporary American English, to new teachers who are unfamiliar with it. We're using Google Docs to work on the assignment together. First, we need to create a new document. I'll click on New and Google Docs. I will rename the document so that we can easily find it later. Now I want to share the doc with Tim so that we can work on it together. I'll click Share and type in his email address. I want to make sure that the share setting is set at Can Edit. This setting will allow Tim to edit the document that I created. Then I'll write a message to Tim telling him that the document is ready for him, and I click Send. When Tim accepts the invitation and joins the doc, an icon will pop up in the upper right-hand corner. Next to that, the chat function becomes available so that Tim and I can collaborate by writing messages to each other. Whenever there's more than one person in a doc at the same time, the chat function is available. In the chat, we are planning the paper. I asked Tim what we should include in the paper so that I can start working on the outline. All of this happens in real time, so I can see when he is typing his reply. Once he replies with the components that we should include in our paper, I start typing the outline. After the outline is finished, I ask Tim for his input. He thinks it looks good, but he also thinks that it should be more detailed and fleshed out. I agree, so I go back into the outline to add in more details. Here, we're just working on building up the outline together. As you can see, all of the edits being made occur in real time too, so here I can read what Tim is adding to the outline. When I think of something, I can also edit the doc at the same time, even while Tim is typing. After we have a better version of the outline, I start drafting our introduction. Now let's talk about the comment function. I finished the draft of the introduction, so I'm leaving a comment to get Tim's input on the draft. How I do that is I highlight the portion of the doc I want the comment to attach to. Then I click on this button that pops up on the right. Likewise, Tim can leave comments on places he wants me to review, and I can reply to his comments. He's asking me for more information on this bullet point because it sounds too general to him, so I'm replying to his comment to explain my rationale. It looks like Tim has taken a look at my comment and responded. He provided an idea for us to incorporate my suggestion. Now that the issue has been resolved, I can click on Resolve over here. That removes the comment so that everyone in the doc knows that the issue has been addressed. As you can see, Google Docs is a great tool for collaborative writing. It can connect collaborators within a class and across the world. The dynamic real-time editing as well as the chat and comment functions are useful for all stages of the writing process, from planning to drafting, revising, editing, and finally, proofreading.